Welcome to the Builder Knowledge Channel for Rafter Math. There are several different ways of making rafters and obtaining the needed calculations. There is the framing square method, the step off method, and also the book of rafters, which has almost every calculation needed for rafters, and finally the Pythagorean theorem, and this is what we will be covering today in this video. The Pythagorean theorem is taught to every builder at some point in their career. In our case we want to find the hypotenuse of a triangle, which is from our top plate to the ridge board of a roof. Let's get started with some rafter terminology, we will cover each one individually as the lesson progresses. The span is the horizontal distance between the outside top plates. The total run is half of the span. The total rise is the vertical distance covered by the line length of the rafter. The line length is the hypotenuse of a triangle with total rise as altitude. The pitch or slope is the ratio of the total rise of the roof to the total width of the building span expressed as a fraction. The unit of run is always 12 inches for the common rafter. The unit of span is always twice the unit of run or 24 inches. The unit of rise changes depending on the pitch of the roof. The unit of rise is the distance the rafter rises per foot of run. The bridge measure is the hypotenuse of a triangle with the unit of run as the base and the unit of rise as the altitude. The projection is how much of the rafter tail extends from the outside wall. The span as we stated is the horizontal distance between the outside top plates. In this model it is 25 feet. The span is calculated using the width of the house or building, not the length. The total run is half of the span, the span is 25 feet on this model, which makes the total run 12.5 feet. Don't be confused between span and total run. The total rise is vertical distance covered by the line length of the rafter. It is not to the height of the ridge board, so that you understand let me show you the calculations. For the total rise, you take the unit of rise in inches and times that by your total run in feet. In this example our rise in inches is 4 and our total run in feet is 12.5. 4 times 12.5 is 50. So 50 inches is our total rise. Now to get the ridge height all you do is add the HAP in inches of the rafter. Also known as the height above plate. So in our example we have a total rise of 50 inches and if our HAP was 4.25 inches, our ridge board height is 54.25 inches. Next is the line length. This is also known as the rafter line length, the hypotenuse of the triangle. We take our bridge measurement times our total run in feet. In the example below, we have a bridge measurement of 12.65 inches times a total run of 8 feet will give us a line length of 101.2 inches. This picture covers the line length from tip to the end of the seat cut on a rafter. If you ever need to cut the rafter as it is shown, it is also known then as a mule rafter. The pitch of a roof is the ratio of the total rise of the roof to the total width of the building span expressed as a fraction. We normally use the slope of a roof such as a 4, 12, or a 5, 12. So, as we look at the example, 1 6 pitch is what the roof is as a fraction. To change it into a slope it's easy as 24 is a given number for pitch to slope. 6 goes into 24, 4 times we have a 4, 12 roof. Next is the unit of run. The unit of run is always the same for the common rafters and is always 12 inches. The difference comes when you are doing hip and valley rafters. They are 16.97 on a builder's square and 17 in industry. The unit of span is always twice the unit of run or 24 inches. To put it into perspective, when you have a total span and a total run, the span is twice the amount of the run. The unit of rise changes depending on the pitch of the roof. The unit of rise is the distance the rafter rises per foot of run. A 1 8 pitch roof has a unit of rise every foot that equals 3 inches or 312 roof. A 412 roof rises 4 inches every foot. The bridge measure or bridge measurement is the hypotenuse of a triangle with the unit of run as the base and the unit of rise as the altitude. We obtain this by doing the Pythagorean theorem. 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The projection is the amount of the tail of the rafter that will extend beyond the wall. This is a horizontal measurement directly from the wall to the end of the tail or to the end of the fascia. Okay, now let's see what you have learned. Using the mathematical method, no tables or squares, first determine the bridge measurement, inches per foot of run, using the Pythagorean theorem. For our example, let's find the length for a common rafter of a building with a 5-inch unit of rise, a 25-foot span, and a 13-inch projection. Remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You can pause the video before the answer comes up next. To obtain our bridge measure, or bridge measurement, we start with our rise, which is 5 inches. Our run is a given of 12 inches, so we put the 5 and 12 into the theorem at the A and B positions. 5 times 5 is 25, and 12 times 12 is 144. Added together the total is 169. Next we find the square root of 169, and it is 13. You now have your bridge measurement. Now that we have found the inches per foot of run, which is 13, we can now calculate rafter length. We know the roof span, for our example, is 25 feet. We have already learned that we need the total run to figure out the rafter length, and that the total run is one half of the span. Our span is 25 feet, then our total run is 12.5 feet. All we need to do is multiply the bridge measurement, 13 inches by the total run, 12.5 feet, and that equals 162.5 inches. Next we need to change the decimal inch portion to fractional inches. You will multiply by 16. 0.5 times 16 equals 8, or 8 sixteenths, or one half of an inch. So by adding the 162 inches to the half inch, your total common rafter length is 162 and a half inches. 162.5 inches is your common rafter length. Divide the whole number, 162 inches, by 12 to change to feet and inches, and add the fraction, half an inch. 162 divided by 12 equals 13 feet 6 inches, plus 1 half and equals 13 feet 6 and a half inches. The final step is to add the tail length for a complete rafter length calculation. For this you multiply the projection in feet by the bridge measurement of 13. Projection is 13 inches, 13 divided by 12 equals 1.083 feet. 1.083 times 13 equals 14.079 or 14 inches. So in this case for a projection of 13 inches, the total common rafter length is 13 feet 6 and a half inches plus 14 inches total rafter length for a total rafter line length of 14 feet 8 and a half inches. We thought we would give you a little bonus knowledge or reminder in the event you have a test coming up. You can also make an Excel spreadsheet like we did to help yourself. The span is always divided by 2 to get you your total run. The bridge measurement is found with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Rafter line length is found by taking your bridge measurement in inches times your total run in feet which is half of the span. Tail line length is taking your bridge measurement in inches times the projection in feet. Collar tie length is found by whatever your drop in inches divided by the unit of rise. Collar ties only touch rafters, nothing else. And for a few more. The total rise is the unit of rise in inches times the total run in feet. The height of the ridge board is found by adding the height above plate on your rafters to the total rise. For the common difference of gable end studs, you take your spacing of 16 or 24 inches and divide by the unit of run in inches, always 12. For hip and valley rafters, take your run in feet times 16.97 or 17.